Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PvP, and today we're playing a relatively short episode of our, uh, let's call it Necrotic Norgard campaign. While I do what I need to do to try to fix this battle, because it's kind of being buggy, um, I just want to say thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoy this episode, please hit the like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, and whatever buttons. It really does help the channel. It's very good to see that sort of thing. I'm playing to the stress right now. And I know last time I was playing, we wound up with this little bug and it was crashing. I tried some different video settings that were recommended to me, but they did not work. So now we're going to option. We're actually just gonna full reset the emulator so that it's clear as any cache it might have internally somehow, some way. If somehow like battle effects were stacking in a weird fashion. Let's see here, so I do that, do that, do that. Um. I think I hit circle. Okay, there we go. Also, I might have to eat a donut while I wait. I'm just playing a little before work, you know how that is? It's kind of like that. All right. So much better. Must kill this person. If I remember correctly, combination with this. This. Eh, that sucked. Now I use cure here to make this guy do this. Now he's gonna be awake. Do something. There's options for like a movement speed. Skip. Go fast movement. Now, if I remember correctly, here's about where we ran into trouble. Yes, the game is hanging on her retaliating. That is a significant critical problem. I mean, I can still kill her, but that's messed up. I really shouldn't need to be the way I have to fight Leonia. Entirely Leonia, by the way. Like, I'm going to have to fight the entirety of Leonia this way. Any battle with her in it. At 130? It's pretty strong. Rank 2. Yeah, it's not bad.
This is not gonna hurt her very much at all. May hurt her. This will definitely hurt her. You're a zombie guy who I want to see get into battle. Sure, give it a swing. You hit! Congrats! Now you're bleeding. Significantly. But Brangian lines up, takes the shot, and down goes Leonis. So, thanks to the Moon Tunic. So there's that. So that's expansion. Remember, right now this is early game. The goal is to just get troops. If I can level some up into better stuff, naturally, that's great. But right now I just need, like, bodies. Creatures, units. Donuts are good. I got a thousand eight hundred mana. Hmm, three more. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you can really understand what I'm saying. Let's speak the volume a bit. Nothing that can be classed up. Okay. Wait. The moon tunic could be very useful. I have to remember that it's a thing. So now they have two castles to defend. They're going to have a smaller defensive army. The choke point we control, that's great. I understand Soul Steam is in the worst shape imaginable. My cat just sighed. She's sitting with me. I'm like literally on the edge of the seat. Amazing. Hmm. Evade 35, defense 10. But rune power 20. Not a lot of people know, but you can check all of the units in the game relatively easily. It's like the ledger in CK2. And you can sort by things like rune power. Determine that Brangian is probably, and you can go directly to them apparently, by the way. Brangian would be a good character to equip that on if she doesn't have second equipment. She can't equip it. Damn. But no, he could use it. I can almost... Like... At this point, I can almost send her meleeing level 1 creatures. I mean, that's how she's gonna have to level up. I think we're gonna get at least one Mandrake. New Almechia has... Three dudes here, okay. Jukes has 
some dudes to defend it. I mean, this is not the best scenario, I'll put it that way. And the only spare knights I have are at Lagras. I'm just trapped. Good thing Soul Steam is the one I need to strengthen, so. I really can't um, summon anything. Hey, Vex, how you doing? Thank you for the host, Vex. I really appreciate it. How's life? There's not a lot I can do besides a couple of meat shields and some magic slingers. Griffins are probably the best unit for here, honestly, but they're, they're almost better as back row. This is ridiculous. Tired hot, yeah. I am also fairly tired. I have to uh, go teach a swim lesson in about an hour. This is my like pre-work relaxation time. Which is a good thing. Nothing more I can really do here, I don't think, unless I summon something cheap like a Mandrake, but does that even help me? All of these units are like, they need to level up. Yeah, I could summon a Mandrake. I think I'm probably going to summon an Angel. Yeah, teaching is uh, fun, but tiring. And I'm pretty sore. I've been working out a little more than usual. So, it's a good thing. Alright, cool. anything attacks it's dead let's put it that way summon a ghoul or a merman probably a merman thank you Vex it's appreciated yeah stick a merman there it's probably for the best The key to this army is to not have units that can only attack from one square, hex or whatever. I can't believe it, but I keep thinking I hear my cat meowing, so if, if you hear a cat, please let me know. Is there anything I really need to summon here at this point? There isn't anything I can summon here. Probably could have done better. Ah, uh, well, it's certainly an army that's capable of killing stuff. Make no mistake about that. The only reason I prefer the merman over the ghoul is that the merman has um, frost spell attached to it. So, yeah, blocker, blocker. We don't have a lot of blockers. Whatever, it's a death defense or attack, I guess. Can 
Magneto. So our goal is simply to collect the money. Here's our domain. If we get attacked, we get attacked. If not, I'm happy to just sit this one out. Uh, whoops, by Zemeckis. By Lance, rather. Wow, that's a crazy attack. Amekia wants to get beaten. Oh, cool, this bug. Oh, cool, the AI uh, threw two armies at me. That makes it really easy. So I hope everyone's okay with these visuals being as they are. This is a known bug with the mod. We're playing cross mod. So you've been doing a lot of streaming lately, Vex. What you been up to with that? Tell people about yourself. They'll see this on YouTube if my video editor ever works. Oh, come on. Are they all higher level than me? I appreciate you being here for me. Gotta trust that this is the right one. Okay. Reset the emulator. Yeah, it's the last class for this semester, so I'm looking forward to a break. <laughs> we have some swimmers that came a long way, and they're really fucking uh, proud of themselves. They should be. One kid even wants to be a lifeguard. Which I dare say, if he still wants to do that after 10 weeks of going to a class... Uh, that's really where it's at. Okay. So, Geriant or the Melagon's coal team? Not a hard question. When the AI sends armies like this, it's really just, like, it's an easy win. You do have to screen the other flank that you're leaving. Like, you, you leave all of your dudes behind. You charge into the attack, right? So, just watch this. Because if the AI is still going to fight after I've uh, pummeled the crap out of them, then I don't know what to tell you. They're even dumber than I'd think. Pretty nice little screen. The only problem would be if I can't carry through on the threat of eliminating this army, then the enemy gets behind me and flanks me and I die. It's kind of how that works. But I'm not too worried because the roads do give you a movement bonus, so yay, movement bonus. And then, yeah, the, like the fish guy is going to be behind. start shooting this thing now technically but maybe I'd rather wait <clears throat> I think that would be an unnecessary sacrifice of the centaurs and they're the hardest thing to get and they're stuff you really want to build so I'm not gonna attack for this turn but I am gonna get them sort of in position to attack next turn If the AI can get its units to make it to me, fine, but I don't think they will. <laughs> yeah, so they brought a stone golem to a long movement map. To be fair, the AI might not be able to calculate that it's a long movement map, but either way, 
it's sure trying to get its units together now. Except now it's time for me to go kick their butts. I can already start damaging them a bit, but I'm not going to. And he's got no healer up here either. Only question is how aggressive do I want to be with my birds, the griffins. I can summon griffins here, therefore they're relatively disposable. I want to establish here definitely. He's within divine ray range of the Tiamat, which means he might get the Tiamat kill. I can also use the birds to insulate him here. And they're wholly elemental and fairly good at damaging land units, although a 303 crit retal is a death sentence. bad, but I also just built that fairy into position. And now air storm that down. Yeah, this is an aggressive one. This is what you do when the AI makes a bad decision. The AI thinks if it did this against another computer player, it might win, and it might, but I know that if it did this against a human player, it's going to get what's coming to it. And three. I have to park you back there because you can't go far enough. Zerafin, my man. That thing is just freaking going to get shot to hell. Or, you know what I can maybe go for? Kill the Tiamat or the Jin, which is actually what I'm a little more afraid of here. I'll tell you why. It's because the Jin has the ability to get two shots on it, definitely. I don't think I can kill it, though. That's my problem. I think it's, it can shoot through three units. That's my problem. All right, so we're going to kill this, and the, uh, this thing, then. Playing. 28. Playing. 79. Playing. 75. Alright, buddy. 193. Can you do it? 97. Not even close. 105. That hurt. Am I afraid of Jin? Jin or Geen? Because if it's like Geen, then it's. Are oh, you thinking of Jin like a Ginny? Yeah. D J I N N or whatever. I don't know. It's got a lot of spellings. But if I'm afraid of the alcohol Jin, well, a little bit. I respect it. It can be dangerous in the wrong uh, circumstances. Ouch. I think he might be trying to kill Zerafin. If he does, there could be problems. Nope. But he's gonna barbecue my Enchantress. That's a problem. Bye, Griffin. Ow! Holy crap! Okay, um... 
magic. I think it's got to be healing word at this point. Uh, she's damaged. He's damn near death. I'm going to need to heal everything, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Jin is in the drink. I actually am not a Jin guy, though. If I'm doing alcohol, it's either amaretto. Uh, ooh, cool. It's either amaretto, Midori, or what do you call it? Amaretto, Midori, or vodka. Is that it. Speaking of, that's about it. That's about it for Zeal. He's dead. He's 26. Pretty impressive. Should have maybe saved that for Jarians, but trying to race my way up to a uh, more powerful unit here. Speaking of off to the races, Airstorm. Midori is fantastic. I like it with some sour mix. I'm good to go with that forever. I actually don't want to melee Garyant with this thing. It won't last long if I do. So I'll just damage something else that can I maybe can incidentally take down as I kill him. The good thing about having this Hydra is that it really is a great rear guard unit. Especially with the Merman to help out. Could use shield. Probably best to use it on Zarafin. Yeah, tactics is what I do. Or at least I try to do in this game. In real life, not so much tactics. I mean, there are, but it's not like military shit. Uh, cool. You don't have enough for another breath attack. You're sort of blocked by your own dude. I have a feeling my chances to hit him are low in the first place. 74 versus 100 with 77% chance of hitting retail. I'll take this, thank you. It's 157. 144. Not bad, not great. He's still Samurai and not Shogun. Do I go for the Jin kill? Could I slash Yariant? I really want to kill this thing though. Wang. No, I think. Let's play the numbers on this one. 
And since I missed, I'm going to just load the save state because you can save as you play anyway. And it's still not enough to kill it. And there is always an imperative to level your knights up. Like, I could try to build a centaur, but... Zerfin's level 2, you know? He's gotta get up something. If he can grow quick, I can class him the way I need him. Plus, that's three less hits they're gonna be able to do to me in this next turn, and that's a huge advantage. Just keeps them from damaging anything too badly. It's like, yeah, they're catching up, and yeah, they've got a few powerful guys, but I just killed one of their powerful guys. I slashed on my fairy? Good idea. Holy crap. I'm glad I blocked that off. Crit one wow, that's bad. Alright, I think I'm gonna heal this thing. I think you're a level two gin, you could just be a blocker at this point. One more heal. I need to really think about how to use it. The thing is, once he's dead, nothing's gonna get to Mundos. Any damage magic? No. I need to class change as soon as humanly possible. trying to sort of count up what more I have I can do. I can try to melee him. No two, not not awful. Painful retail though. Let's save it. short on ammo by three. It's not ideal. Playing. Wang, two, Wang, I could definitely kill the dragon. I'm 
I mean, alright, if he kills my fairy, he kills my fairy. Oh, come on, dude. Nice, you missed. Great work, pal. Healing word. Oh, crap. I guess he's got a few of those, huh? I might lose this. Good. Not good. Alright, well I guess that's better. Now he's awake. Checking some stuff real quick. Got an alarm set, but I, I'm about to reset it because I have a little more time to spend here. It's really about the best I can do here. If I melee him again, he's probably dead. If I don't melee him again, I don't know how I kill him. See if you live. Crit 137. You might have this. Yeah, I'm waiting. Damn right. Ninety five. Jariant is down. All right. Now it's time to take a couple of shots. See how quickly they uh, regret this decision. Because now my my uh, griffins can come in as second row support instead. So even if they attack me, Cole's gonna sit there like a fool. The centaur is going to die painfully. I'm sorry, centaur. I mean, other thing. Yeah, they're gonna actually try to make this a defensive battle at this point. Which is probably advisable, but not easy. I think I know what I'm doing. Oof. 
Hi, you're surrounded. Crit, three, four, five. That hurt, but... Keep this guy far away from anything that can cast magic right now. Listen, I might not have this, but I might be able to do a lot of freaking damage on the way out. Oh, yeah. I almost want to get hit in a way with him. Oh, he's a level 5 samurai, so he's not actually getting anything useful. I just need to level him up in general. Level 4 Phoenix Tango down You like retreating yet guys? Give me a little frost Center, do they? Yeah. That's fine. Level 3 fairy almost frontlining? Yeah, I'll take it. He's like, alright, let me hit her. And granted, that hurt. That was a problem. Fire? Okay, fine. I'll let you reduce your magic supply a little bit. Maybe one less meteor doom to deal with. If they're willing to burn their magic points down, I don't see why I shouldn't let them. Hey look, Moon, moon Toes is silver. Bash you with the word of heaven. Am I? I am. Yeah. 
Nouns. Hmm. What he's saying is all I need to do is get back to back here. And the only one who can even touch me with magic is that guy. Level 47 Lucifer. Level 4 Lucifer, huh? go down. Probably should have coordinated that to feed this guy, but I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket, you know? points. I'll put him here. Turn eight. Meteor Doom. That's really a problem. Damn. That's cute. Black. 139. No stun. Melee's the fairy? My word. Maybe. Oh man. Alright. We're good. We got this. Maybe. Uh, Melagot might just cause problems. First thing I know is take a shot with this. I don't really care about that. You really care about that. For my odds to hit him, 70%. This guy. Crit 158 stun. Nom. I just want you to stay in range. What are my odds for a IA slash? 99%. Take one shot. Five. Take two shots. Ice. 
slash and see if we can kill it. 73, nope. Well, it's a good thing we did it with that unit last so that it would have the opportunity to get the kill in. It's almost level 9, and if I win, it'll probably go to level 10. Oh, not quite. That demon hard. still be able to Geno next time if I need to, but this will at least soften it up. Fortunately, I really do got a... Yeah, I really was. I didn't expect that. That's unusual behavior. I mean, I could bolt it. I should bolt him. Terrible idea, though. Save my magic. I need it. I need this to go faster, though. Yeah, I had a feeling he'd do that. Ow. Double ow. Retreat! I could have actually done it. He might kill Roadbull. She might kill Roadbull. Shit. <laughs> okay, well, it's not the end of the world. We keep those units, they just... We lost our knight. Victory. It means I'm short one, and I don't know how to replace him. We also captured a dragon. So yeah, that's about that. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, whatever buttons. It really does help the channel grow. It lets me know what you're watching so I can keep making more of it. And I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And as always on this channel, La Paz. And thanks again, Vex, for coming by. Check Vex's channel out. She's awesome. Seriously, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, she's there. Peace.